Hello, welcome. Try this problem out and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so the wording in this is a little intense. We've got if we've got a p of x function that equals a times b to the x and r of x which equals c times d to the x. And they wanna know what happens when we multiply these two things. So really we're just taking a times b to the x and multiplying it by c times d to the x. So whenever I see a bunch of factors like this, I either think about it mentally or write it out, uh, where I kind of explode and rearrange all the factors. By explode, I mean first write everything out as multiplication, kind of blow it up a little bit so I can see the four factors that make this up. And then I would rearrange everything using my commutative property of multiplication. And now I can see I have a times c in the front, which all the choices have here. All right, so I'm representing that. And then I have b to the x times d to the x. Now that's going to be equal to b times d to the x. And let's think about why that is. If you wrote this down and you were to go backwards, you would distribute the x over multiplication to both b and d, which is what exactly we have here. We have b to the x power and d to the x power. So in general, if you have a bunch of bases being multiplied, but the exponents are the same, you can essentially factor the exponent out of each term. And what's left, in this case, is choice three. All right, hope that helped.